This video leaves to the player face to left or right and wait player jump. Let's open our player controller script. Rotate player face. We will use set clip X from fry renderer. After pressing moving button left or right, this is object doing this node. This here will be player object. You can use game object file for player object like this. Or you not know this, that's what we talked in last video. Open component sprite renderer on our player object. Flip X is true, player will face to the left. And flip X is false, player will face to the right. If press button D, move to right, player will face to the right. Flip X will be false. If press button A, move to left, flip X will be true. Let's play to test it. It worked well. Now, let's practice and try to add them into a custom event. Create new trigger custom event and custom event. Put event set flip X into this custom event. For value true or false, let's use a graph variable. Name it flip X. Add value boolean. Boolean value is true or false. Replace this graph variable to our event set flip X. Button A move to left set flip X will be true. Then add value of graph variable flip x to our new set flip x. Group and move it to bottom. Press play, it will give the same result. Next, add a button to jump. Button jump is a one click button. We use get key down. I will use button space for player's jump. We need to check this button every frames at on update node. To jump, we need to add a force to push object go up. You can use 2D at force with mode options. Switch it to impulse. It works best for player jumps. This E object will be applied this impulse on our player object. This vector 2 is the direction of the impulse. To move an object go up, x will be 0, y will be greater than 0. If you want to add stronger force, to jump higher, add bigger number. Press play to test it. If you press space button, it can jump now. To control the jump easier, add an object variable jump strength with a float value. First, change input value to 1. Next, apply variable jump strength value to our jump event. We are gonna use multiply generate to multiply a factor 2 with a float. Let's play a game. Now you can change the jump strength to jump higher or lower. This time, try to jump and press button left or right at the same time. You can see your player is floating. Something is not correct here. The problem is at button left and right. When you press button move left or right, factor Y is zero. It's the reason that makes player float and start falling down. 
let's look at the velocity move event to understand it. Try to move player left right and watch this y value. y value is always at zero, even at the middle of the air. To visit at event set velocity, separate value x and y of this vector 2. We're going to keep the x value that is working well. For y value, we get it from current velocity y value. This means keep the current velocity y value in rigid body component. Get y value from factor 2 of this velocity. All done. It should work well now. The jump issues was fixed. You can download and use this player controller script under video. Next video, we're going to a ground check to stop multi-jump.